Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we'll find out how many factors of a number are perfect cubes. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So let's do a quick recap of what is a factor of a number. So factors of a number are the numbers which are less than or equal to that number and which divides the given number. So for example, if I have the number 12, then all the factors of the number are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now all these 6 numbers are factors of this number 12 because all of them are less than or equal to it and it divides the number 12. Now you can see that the factor of a number cannot be less than 1 and it cannot be greater than the number itself. Now since we are more interested in calculating that how many of them are perfect cube, we can see that that only factor 1 is a perfect cube in all these 6 factors. So 1 is the number of factor which are perfect cube for the case of 12. Now this was a pretty simple example but if I tell you to find out the number of factors of the number 4000 and check that how many of them are perfect cube. Now 4000 is a very large number as compared to 12 and to find out the number of perfect cube factors by this method is a very tedious step. So let's learn a very simple formula by which we can easily calculate the number of perfect cube factors for any given number. Now suppose you are given a number n and you have to calculate that how many of its factors are perfect cube. Now the first step in calculating the perfect cube factors is to prime factorize the number. Now prime factorization of a number is to represent the number in a form of its prime factors raised to its arbitrary powers. So suppose the prime factorization of the number n is equal to a raised to power p into b raised to power q into c raised to power r and so on and we are taking the first three prime factors only for the sake of better understanding. Now done with our first step of prime factorization, the second step is to simply put this value in the formula and the formula is equal to the integer value of p by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of q by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of r by 3 plus 1 and so on and so forth till the last prime factor. Now when I say the integer value, what I mean is if the value under the bracket is equal to 10.33 then we'll only take 10 and not 10.33. So with the help of these two simple steps, we can calculate the number of perfect cube factors for any given number n. So let's solve some few basic examples so that if you have any doubt on this concept or this formula, then it will be clear. Now for our first question, we have to calculate that how many factors of the number 900 are perfect cube. Now according to our first step, we have to prime factorize the number. Now 900 can be written as 9 into 100. And we know that 9 is equal to 3 square and 100 is equal to 2 square into 5 square. So the prime factorization of the number is equal to 2 square into 3 square into 5 square. Now this is the fastest way in which you can prime factorize the number and I recommend that you should follow this method as well. Now done with our first step of prime factorization, we simply have to put this value in the formula and we'll get our answer. So the value is equal to the integer value of 2 by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of 2 by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of 2 by 3 plus 1. Now in calculation this value comes out to be the product of three numbers which are 1 into 1 into 1 because the integer value of 2 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 1 and the same is for the rest of the two cases. So the number of factors which are perfect cube for the case of 900 is equal to 1. Now according to our next question we have to calculate the number of perfect cube factors of the number 1250 now according to our first step, we have to prime factorize the number. Now we know that 1250 is equal to 125 into 10 and we can write 125 as 5 cube and 10 as 2 into 5. Now the prime factorization finally comes out to be 2 into 5 to the power 4. Now we just have to place this value in a formula and we'll get our answer. So the formula is equal to the integer value of 1 by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of 4 by 3 plus 1. Now if we calculate this value, this value comes out to be 1 and if we calculate this value, this value comes out to be 2. So the product of 1 and 2 gives us the value as 2. So the number of factors which are perfect cube for the case of 1250 is equal to 2. Now the number that is given for our third question is equal to 7 factorial. Now basically the value of n factorial is equal to the product of all the natural numbers from the number n to the number 1. So n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to the number 1. So 7 factorial is equal to 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 
into 1. Now moving back to our question, we have to calculate the perfect cube factors for the number 7 factorial. Now you can see that we have 1, 2 over here, 2, 2 over here and 1, 2 over here. So we can say that it is equal to 2 to the power 4. Then moving on to the number 3, we have 1, 3 over here and 1, 3 over here. So it is equal to 3 square. Now the next highest prime factor is equal to 5 and we have 1, 5. So we'll write 5 over here. And the last and the largest prime factor for the number 7 factorial is 7 itself. So you'll write 7 at the end and you can see that how quickly we have calculated the prime factorized form for the factorial of 7. Now done with the first step of prime factorization, we just have to put this in a formula. So the value is equal to the integer value of 4 by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of 2 by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of 1 by 3 plus 1 into the integer value of 1 by 3 plus 1. So in calculating the product of these four values, we'll get our answer and our answer will come out as 2. So the number of factors which are perfect cube for the case of 7 factorial is equal to 2. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy.